Let's rock! So we're here with Sharon Bridgeforth. I just got through seeing Love Conjure Blues, and if you don't know who this woman, we're in the presence of greatness right now, if you don't know. So if you don't know who she is, just, I'm gonna take a minute, I'm gonna press pause, go to SharonBridgeforth.com, it's down there at the bottom, go read about her, and then come back so you can know what's going on because I mean, you should be as excited as I am right here. So thank you for being on the show thank with us. Thank you, I'm it's a so privilege. excited. Hi, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about Love Conjure Blues. Oh, I just saw it, but I'm gonna let her tell you about it. Okay, Love Conjure Blues is, first of all, it's a book published by Redbone Press. Um, Redbone Press uh, is founded and edited by Lisa Seymour. So I'm very proud to be a Redbone Press author. Hey, Lisa, what's up? <laughs> Go to redbonepress.com to find out about uh, Lisa's other authors. Um, it's quite an amazing thing. She publishes black queer people. And uh, she's got a bunch of books. And it's quite a, um, uh, a privilege to be a part of you know, her publishing company. So Love Country Blues is a book. Uh, it is also a performance that features live performers, so we do it with seven singers and actors, um, directed by Helga Davis, who is an amazing singer and composer. And if you ever see Love Country Blues, the film, or if you go to the website, um, Helga's the one singing with the white on. She can sing. She can sing. I feel like I was in church. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do right now, we're going to cut to a short clip of Love Country Blues. Or maybe things that already was just came into focus. Well, you ever seen two people that truly loved each other? Two people that truly loved each other, but had done so much hurt, had a past between them that the old hurt blocked the old love, but the old love just keep going anyway. <laughs> yeah, because they can't stand to be around one another, and they can't take being a court. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, everything was as it had been. Till change walked in one night. She was a gray-eyed, gap-toothed, cookie brown woman with tight, light curls rumbling all the way down to bounce on her behind, which then amply high. Stretched across <laughs> her many-colored, thin material dressed like a, a piece of rubber drawn tight. Change had enough curves to make for a long trip. <laughs> and when she walked, she carried you around. <laughs> so when Change walked into Betty's that night, mm -hmm, we all knew some shit was loud. <laughs> uh, but what you guys just saw was a clip from the Love Contra Blues text installation. And um, I will be doing that in different cities, so stay tuned to the website. But the text installation, um, the, the basic idea is that uh, I narrate and sometimes guest performers join. So in this show that you saw, Florinda Bryant um, joined me as a guest performer. But um, I narrate the text live and a film which was created by Jen Simmons uh, and included the cast of live performers that originally um, did the performance back in uh, 2004. Uh, we kind of continued our creative conversation and so they are present with me in the film as um, uh, cast members. So the film is installed in an environment that the audience enters, and then I narrate the show. Cool. It's, it's fantastic, y'all. It's moving, it's powerful. The thing I loved the most about it was the audience is part of the show. I yeah. felt like I was in there, you get up and you dance, and you get quotes. I pulled a James Baldwin quote that was very, that really spoke to me, and so, I mean, it was, it was phenomenal. So if you, our inner city, she's coming to. Please, 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 don't miss it. I'm telling you, this is like, this is greatness. You know, I'm trying to see if she rub off on me and over same here. here. Same here, same here. <laughs> Thank you so much for Thank being you. on the show. Thank you, I appreciate Say what? it. <laughs> what? What? <word. laughs> Drop it to my man voice. <laughs>